Hello everyone, welcome to the Smoking Jacket Hour. Today is just me, because I'm doing some Kerbal Space Program. Um, some of you probably have seen this before. This is a space simulation program using these little guys here. This one, the ginormous head and helmet called a Kerbal. And uh, they're trying to go to space. Lots of space, much space. So today I'm just kind of going to do a quick quick little play, I guess. Um, I guess I'll kind of have a, uh, a end game, as it were. I want to try at least, like the little sign there says, moon or bust, moon, moon or bust. Um, I want to at least try to land something on the moon and maybe even come back. So that means getting stuff in orbit and yeah, all that fun stuff. Um, I'll actually start a new game. I do have a previous game, but we'll go ahead and start a new one. Let's call this the uh, Smoking Jacket Hour. And uh, what do I feel like? Uh, blorbs? Yeah, I like blorbs. We'll go do blorbs. We'll rock with blorbs. So, and currently this is, as you tell here, zero, uh, version 0 0.2.1, uh, 0 0.2.2 is supposed to be on the way, more stuff on the way, career mode still disabled, so it's, this point's just sandbox, so you can just build whatever you want, there's no uh, financial penalty, which should be coming up in the later versions of this game, so, do have actually a, a few modifications actually installed on here, um, one of them was a, uh, like, pod system system so instead of just having the uh, the uh, rockets exposed or the uh, actual launch material exposed during takeoff and atmospheric exit and entry and all that stuff you I can actually uh, encase them so they're all kind of far more aerodynamic than they were previously so let this load up here and here we go Let's get us some, uh, let's see, if we're going to try to land on the moon, I'm guessing we'll probably just make like a uh, lander craft, some type, put some legs on it and give it a few command, a few uh, crew compliments and pods and things of that sort, and I think this little bugger is a pretty good start place to start with, so we'll get this uh, command module, or Mark 1-2 command pods, uh, minimum three crew, I'm trying to remember... Or I can actually add, or excuse me, I misread that. Minimum one crew. But I do believe this is a three person crew, so I'll actually be able to add some more people later on. And we'll do that. Definitely. So let's see here. We got the we got that little bugger. Oh, structures wise, what do we want? I should probably put an SAS on this thing so I can actually control it. Uh, there we go. Control, yes. Uh, SAS modules are the, as it says here, uh, the control for the uh, craft. They'll actually, uh, if you include these little uh, RCS rockets, um, typically they give you a little bit more thrust when you're actually trying to do any kind of maneuvers, but with the uh, SAS enabled, it'll actually use the RCS to restabilize the position. It actually sets a locked uh, locked coordinate for the craft to follow and just will use these to adjust and so that's what the SAS is for kind of nice to have actually and um, let's let's do some uh, let's get these RCS on here let's see if we get some RCS fuel first um, yeah, let's see how big is that oh it's pretty tiny I mean, at least a reasonable size oh <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not quite reasonable size. <laughs> I think this is the one I'm looking for, yeah. Uh, unless there's a, another type here. Uh, nah, it's oxidizer looking fuel, so it's got to be one of these RCS tanks down here, I believe. Yeah, alright, so we'll just throw that bugger on there. Uh, let's get some RCS. I'll actually attach it to the tank here. And that's pretty good. Um, before I forget, let's also get a parachute. And I might actually need more than just that because last time I last time I flew one of these missions, I came back a little too hot, and this one parachute didn't 
quite cut the mustard, so I ended up splashing, well, actually crashing into Kerbin on the way back. Uh, wasn't good. Oh, I need to watch out because that's actually covering that hatch. Yeah, that's, I want them to actually get out of the craft. So yeah, I gotta watch. Gotta watch for things like this because once in a while you'll forget, and then you're like, oh, I'm there, but I can't get out. <laughs> And then you, and it's, yeah, you're crying in your Cheerios or from there on up, whatever that is, but let's get these a little ladder. Unless, oh no, actually, they don't need that, that's right. Those, those are actually foot, foot, foot holes right there. It says crew access, nice. Alright, so, we've got a, we've got a basic, really, really basic pod here. Uh, let's get Let's get uh, an ascent rocket, I guess, is what we'll, we'll give for this little bugger, so we can... Oh, oh my, that's big. Um, so when we actually get to the moon, this is what we'll use to get off of the moon. And I'm using the right type, says uh, rocketry, yeah, okay. Because there's actually, uh, you can actually do aerospace as well, so there's actually a totally separate, uh, totally different set of uh, fuel that you can actually get mixed up ooh, that's big um, get mixed up with the, the uh, fuel you're using as opposed to the uh, rockets so you have to kind of watch what you're putting on there otherwise it won't work it's like right there we go see just jet fuel on that one so all right um, since the gravity is definitely less on the moon uh, we don't need quite a large output so we can actually get a fairly a fairly reasonably sized engine on here um, so we can actually escape the moon's gravity and that's a little too big there these are actually I think I think this is probably the, the best one for that this little poodle you have about 220 I'm guessing that's meters per second second yeah something like that Doubles as a barbecue when at low power, so there, there you go. They can actually cook stuff on the moon. They have some nice, some nice barbecue chicken or something like that. Do they even have chickens in, in Kerbal? I don't know. So, uh, yeah. Moving on. We're going to uh, find the uh, landing struts. Here we go. So when I reach the moon, I actually have something to plop down. Those right there. I don't think I can activate them right now, but that's fine. Um, I'll tweak that later. Don't worry about that. Oh, here we go. Here's crew. That's what I was looking for. Ah, so um, right now I got Jebediah, Bill, and Bob. Bob's not very courageous, but he's also not stupid either. So I don't know why he's in here. <laughs> Good old Bob. We like Bob. Bob's a good guy. We like him. Yeah, yeah. Um, guess we could put a put a retractable fo photovoltaic on here. Yeah, let's put let's put some of these on here. Just in case. I don't think I have a battery though, so let's let's get a battery as well. Might as well might as well just go for everything here. Let's just go ahead and throw everything on. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. A little. A little scratchy in the throat there. Um, where's that battery at? Is this it? Ah, there we go. Oh, nope. Just kidding. Just kidding. There we go. All right. So now we got power. We've got uh, we got stability control. We have our RCS. We have our RCS fuel. We have our uh, ascent fuel and ascent engine, so we can get off the moon. Hopefully. Uh, I, really hope and let's put this in a care package shall we let's let's see if I can get this inside this little bugger here so this is the modification I was talking about this is actually a uh, fairings uh, which allow you to actually encapsulate oops that's a 1.2 I need a 2.5 fairing half well there we go oh that won't work yet I need the nose there we go um, so see, it kind of goes like that, which might be a little small. So let's, oops, 
Oops, oops, I was joking. Just kidding, I went off the window there accidentally. Um, let's use the extended one. And now let's get the 2.5 extended fairing. Take this lower. Uh, it looks like it fits. I'm hoping. We'll, fi we'll find out, I guess. Um, let's get this wall in place. Oh no, that's not it. Um, there we go. Oh, no. No. No, maybe. Um, how about now? Ah, there we go. Alright, so we gotta get this on this other side and we gotta flip it around. No, come on. I know you wanna go on there. There! So there we go. We now have a, uh, we now have a cone. Uh, let's see, that's in the wrong order, isn't it? Yeah, I need to make sure my my uh, detach order is correct here, so um, let's move this down here. Um, let's split these off as well, so that we don't have to so the parachute's on fire while I'm on the moon, so that's my ascent. And hopefully this moves no. Yeah, I was afraid that would happen. Always does. So we'll just take the wall off there and, and we'll take this off and we'll come up here and we'll just move this whole thing way up here. So I actually have some room to, to work with when I start building the engine, the uh, engine compartment, which um, I think what I might do at this point is I might actually just cut away for now. And then uh, when I come back, uh, we sh I should have um, a rocket ready to launch. And uh, yeah, we'll s we'll see how far I can get with this little bugger. So um, uh, with that, I'll be uh, right back. I'll see you guys in the, just on the other side here. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All right. All right, welcome back. All right, I've sort of finished my design here. I'm hoping there's enough oomph to get me there. I guess we'll find out when I launch this thing, but I wanted to show you guys the Moon Alpha 1. 01. Because this is an alpha. Definitely. Definitely an alpha. And, uh, so let's hit launch. Let's see what happens. Alright. There we go. Now on the launch pad. Alright, let's zoom out here a little bit. So we got my little, my little happy kerbals. Kerman, 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 and let's turn on SAS. Um, there it is. All right. Uh, we'll leave RCS off for right now because hopefully I won't need it. But we'll find out. Let's bring throttle to full. Actually, let's bring it to about seventy or eighty because I think this thing overheats badly. And uh, five, four, three, two, one, go! <laughs> Definitely moving. Got a little bit more of the beans there. Oh yeah, that starts to overheat pretty fast, doesn't it? <laughs> so far, so good, actually. I'm probably not going to be able to cut through the atmosphere with this layout. I may have to actually adjust it a little bit more. From the looks of it, I mean, I'm not quite out of, I'm not quite half on my fuel yet, so that's a good thing, but I'm definitely not going to make the uh, requisite uh, 10 kilometers when I start my uh, uh, trajectory change at that point, so I'm going to have to probably adjust the volume here, because that, en that engine sound is pretty loud, even on my side, so I will lower it for you guys, so you're not, so you don't go deaf. Yeah, yeah. Post production, it's a wonderful thing. So far, so good. How are we looking? Oh, oh. Oh my, we're still surface level. Never broken. Oh, there we go. Alright, so now, um, I should be able to turn this. To about 35 degrees east facing, if I remember right. Oh, I'm gonna run 
running out of fuel just as I'm turning. <laughs> I lost that. Boosters are out. All right, detach the boosters. I'll uh, zero out my throttle. We'll detach that. And throttle up. Oh. Oh no, oh no, 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 oh, 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 oh boy, oh boy. All right, there we go. All right, good, good, most excellent, yes. Make sure I don't overheat here. I'm maintaining in orbit. Once I break. Once I break, I think, above atmosphere here, about 66, 66 kilometers, I think that's what it is. I'll go ahead and uh, drop my throttle and start trying to make my orbit stable here. Do a few minor adjustments along the way. All right. Uh, let's actually cut the engines. We'll bring up the map. We'll check out my current... Apopus, Apopusus, Apop, 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 Apopusus. Uh, let's go ahead and extend this out so I can try and get an orbit going. Oh, the music just started. So ominous. So ominous sounding. Oh, there we go. Alright, that looks good. That looks like a nice, nice, steady, stable, steady, steady on, steady, stable orbit. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on RCS, which I don't think is working because I think they're covered right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, the little things. So we got a node burn in T minus two minutes thirty-seven seconds. Let's get myself on target here. All right, SAS is locked. And let's go ahead and just accelerate a little bit here. Come around two minutes. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. 17 seconds. That works. That totally works. All right, here we go. It's a 19 second burn. I've got a little less than half in the tank. Five seconds to go. Uh, four, three, two, one. Huh. Full power. Let's burn this sucker off. 13 seconds. 10 seconds. Uh, almost there. I'm almost out of fuel. And cut. Alright. Let's check the map. How am I looking? Oh, it looks beautiful. I'm actually in orbit. Let's go ahead and delete that. Alright, so the next trick. The next trick of this puzzle is... Hitting the moon. So if I set this descending, ascending node. All right, I think it's this one. I can add a maneuver here, and then we just make a giant. Oh, wrong way. We do this. Oh, <laughs> then again, maybe not. <laughs> How about we go ahead and delete that node. Oh. There we go. So I think it's on this side. And we go this way. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. I don't, I think that's gonna work. Uh, maybe, possibly. It looks, looks, looks good. Squeak. All right, so if I hit this right, I should actually be caught in the moon's gravity once I come around. So that looks pretty good. Let's check, where am I at? Oh, T minus 30 seconds. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Um, Oh, here we go. Oh, apparently delete puts me in the docking mode. So I'll have to remember that next time. Oops. Let's turn on RCS here. 
are getting a little bit of use. Let's back off. Come around. It was a real quick burn, too. It's only 15 seconds. So I may have just enough fuel to actually get me there. I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to make it back, though. That's definitely questionable at this point. All right. Looks good. Yep. Looks really good. All right. I'm going to warp time here again. Ooh. Mm -hmm. A little jittery. But um, so far this is 18 minutes. Yeah, actually, it's not bad. So 15 minutes to go. This music is really nice. I like this. It kind of, re it reminds me of Holst. You know, the planets. Everyone knows. Everyone knows Mars, the bringer of war. But you know, it's like Jupiter and Mercury, and they're all really like nice lilting or or uh, just ominous sounding and this kind of falls in that so oh I almost almost lost track of what I was doing uh, one minute a little bit more just a little bit more a little bit more oh, oh no no oh wow all right do it oh no come on you can do it don't run out of fuel ah oh, no uh, I ran out of fuel. Alright, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to use my... Use my other, en my other engine here that I'm just gonna use to get off the moon. To burn enough to get me in trajectory to the moon. And that didn't quite work the way I expected it to. It actually kind of failed there. What the? Look into that. Fix it later. Yeah, you know it is. And five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good. Let's check the map. Uh, it doesn't look right. <laughs> Mustard there. Oh, oh no, oh no. I may have screwed something up here. <laughs> What's my current trajectory here? All right, so I might, I might get stuck in the moon. Let's let's go hit the opposite here. Oh, there it is. Come here, you little bugger. Definitely a lot easier to maneuver now since I actually dumped dumped all that stuff off earlier. All right, there we go. Now I'm on course. Let's aim for my target. Oops. Target's locked. that out of there so I don't see it anymore and pulse oops uh, let's warp on ahead Actually, like almost on, almost on target. Let's check my map. How am I looking here? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it is. Okay, cool, sweet. I can't believe it. I may actually hit the moon. All right, is there a way for me to get seven hours zero minutes twenty seconds? All right. Alright, 
So this is going to be the tricky part now. Is actually getting a course to line up on the moon. And I'm hoping this will work. Whoops. We're going to find out. It says I only need like a two second burn. And maybe I'll actually nail and nail the orbit here. Let's find out. Go ahead and accelerate it up again. Uh oh. Uh oh. 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 What did it do? What did it just do? Where am I going? <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> I think I may have accidentally over accelerated. Because there it is. There's the moon. I can see the moon. I can't believe. I don't know why I don't know why my trajectory is kind of all screwy there. Oh, I think the moon did catch me. Well, that's that's actually quite handy. Oh, 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 oh no! Yeah. I got um. Oh, look at that! Isn't that beautiful? Oh, Jebediah likes it. Check him out. Look at that. Look at that smiling face. Bob's all like, yeah, yeah, we're flying. All right. Bill's all like, yeah, okay, this is good. I like it. We're good. Let's go ahead and accelerate time again. Oh, this is, this is, uh, I got to admit, this is actually probably one of the best, <laughs> best jobs I've ever done. Uh, in playing this, I, I usually end up crashing every single time. Um, oh, 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 wow. Not gonna lie to you guys, I'm actually kind of impressed. Even, even I'm impressed by this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Oh, Bill's applauding. Jebediah is still all cool. Bob's still like, yeah. <laughs> Two, one. Oh, my burn time changed. 17 seconds. 15 seconds. Here we go. Ten seconds. I'm still doing some minor little adjustments here and there, and cut the engine. All right, let's look. Oh, I'm, I'm in orbit. I've made orbit around the moon, guys. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. I'm actually going to do a, a save there because this is like a first for me. This really is. This is actually a first, <laughs> a first for me ever in Kerbal Space Program. To get off the planet in one piece on a first design rocket and actually get orbit on the moon. So let's try and land on the sunny side here of things. Oh, I didn't like that, no. Uh, let's see. about right there that looks like a pretty good spot to me what do you guys think I think so yeah um, four minutes we're gonna have a burn it we're gonna have another burn here all right hope you guys are ready I hope you curveballs are ready for this we're actually gonna try and land this 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 flying sardine can on the first try I mean I haven't even reset yet I haven't even done a reload it's crazy, I'm telling you. Totally crazy. Let's accelerate. And so loving this music actually. Still still loving the music. Yeah, definitely. It's all spacey. It's all space like. Alright. Closing in. Yeah. 
five seconds. Here we go. Here we go. Ready for this, boys? You ready? Fire it up. Seven seconds. Watch my target. All right, cut the engine. Let's check the map. All right, we're looking good. We are looking awesome. Now, what we need to do is we do need, we need it to line with that, which means I think I need to hit this, try and get that to actually spin. something. I don't know. I'm guessing at this point now. I've never gotten this far. <laughs> so your guess is as good as mine now. Oh, no. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's bad. I've wasted so much fuel trying to do this. Trying to deorbit right now. And I want to try and land as close to straight up and down as I possibly can to the surface, as opposed to coming in at an angle. But I'm afraid I'm going to run out of fuel before I even make that an option. Oh, there it goes. Wait, wait, wait. This might actually work. This might actually work. guys I think oh oh could it be all right let's um, what was it there we go we're gonna extend these little buggers out we're gonna get those out there now we're actually starting a descent all right here we go here we go, here we go. Alright, I gotta watch my speed. I do not want to come crashing in. Alright, I've got 29... I've got 29,000... 29k to go, so I guess I could just let it coast for a little while down. And Oh... This is nerve-wracking, because I've never done this before. The problem is, I know I can't get him back in, because I forgot to put the ladders on it. <laughs> I don't dare, I don't dare bring him out, because I know they're not going to get be able to get back into the ship. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're at 10,000. We're accelerating quite a bit. Oh. Full thrust, full thrust, full thrust, full thrust. Oh no. Alright, the engines are just barely on. I'm just kind of coasting in right now. 40 meters per second is a little too hot. I, need to, I think I need to be at least around 10 meters per second. So I match. Well, that's gravity. It's 9.8 meters per second. But yeah. Um, nice, steady. Nice and steady. Steady as she goes. There she goes. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Holy crap, I made it. <laughs> I can't believe it. I actually made it to the moon in one shot. There was no, there, there's, there's only the cut when I was making the, the rocket. I've actually made it here. Oh, wow. I don't have enough fuel to get back because I spent most of it in the, in the, in the, uh, orbital routine. So I got to readjust my, my design, but, oh. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so very cool. I might be able to do something with the monopropulsion with the RCS, but I don't know. But e e either way, I'm I'm actually really quite happy. I've actually managed to land on the moon with with my little Kerbals, my little Kerbal friends. Say hi, guys. How's it going? Everyone's where's, he's downstairs. Oh wow, yeah. All right, well, um, from this point. I just may have to redesign my rocket, but um, it's all good actually. I I I really am quite happy with this. First time, very first time I've ever made it in one shot. Making it back, well, that's another story. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I've actually really been, I've actually enjoyed this a lot. I, I did not think it would work this well. Um, well, if you'd like to see some more of this, uh, just let me know. Uh, leave a like. Um, Leave a comment if you like. I've been, I've been enjoying that as well. So, until next time, uh, it's Kenoki. I'll uh, see you guys later. Bye.